Hey what's up guys Tanmay here for Simple Snippets and I'm back with another video tutorial on fuzzy set and fuzzy set operations. So in this video tutorial we are going to be looking into the topic of lambda cuts for fuzzy sets. So basically we are going to look into the practical and numerical aspect. So we'll see a numerical based on this topic. And just to give you a brief about this topic, when we convert a fuzzy set to a crisp set, that process is known as defuzzification. So basically lambda cut for fuzzy sets are sets which are crisp sets formed out of these fuzzy sets. Now if you don't know what a crisp set or fuzzy sets are, you can check out the video tutorials from this playlist. And we've also discussed a lot of fuzzy set operations which we are going to use in this tutorial as well. So if you have missed on some of those fuzzy set operations such as uh, basic complement union intersection operations, you can check out the previous video tutorials. So that being said, let's get started with the practical and numerical aspect of this topic. Okay, so as you can see on the screen, we've been given a numerical. So let me just read out the question. Consider two fuzzy sets A and B, both defined on X given as follows. Express the following lambda cut sets using ZA notation. So how to interpret this question? So we've been given with this table which consists of fuzzy set A and fuzzy set B and these are the respective values for each of these members. So we have to first convert this tabular form into fuzzy set form and as you can see in the solution part I have done just that. So the fuzzy set A is given as 0.2 and the denominator in this case is x1 and keep in mind that this is not basically a division operation and this hyphen is just a delimiter. So this is the numerator and denominator but there is no division actually going on. So, so 0 0.2 upon x1, 0 0.3 upon x2, 0 0.4 upon x3. So this is fuzzy set A and again fuzzy set B is formed by 0 0.4 upon x1, 0 0.5 upon x2. So this is how you form the fuzzy sets. Now in the question we've been given that we have to find a complement of 0 0.7. So what is this 0 0.7? So basically this is the lambda value which we've been given in the question and what we have to do is we have to find out all the values of a complement which are greater than or equal to 0 0.7. So that is the basic definition of a lambda cut set. So here's the formula for that lambda cut set and this is the general notation which says that a lambda which is a set and basically it is a crisp set which is equal to all the values of x in the fuzzy set wherein the membership value is greater than or equal to lambda. So let's see for first example and you'll understand exactly what I'm saying. So in order to calculate a complement we know that the formula is 1 minus mu of of a of x. So this would give us 1 minus 0 0.2 which is 0 0.8 upon x1 and we don't have to make any changes to the denominator which stays as it is. Then 1 minus 0 0.3 would give us 0 0.7 upon x2, 1 minus 0 0.4 would give us 0 0.6 upon x2, 1 minus 0 0.7 would give us 0 0.3 upon x4 and 0, 1 minus 0 0.1 would give us 0 0.9 upon x5. So this was the complement of fuzzy set A. Now in order to apply this lambda cut value, so we've been given with the lambda cut value of 0 0.7. So we have to find out all the values which are greater than or equal to 0 0.7. So we know 0 0.8, 0 0.7, 0 0.6 and 0 0.9 are greater than or equal to 0 0.7. So all these values are included in the set or are included in the lambda cut set. So the final answer here would be a complement of 0 0.7 would be x1 comma x2 and x5. So we just took the denominator for all the numerators whose value is greater than or equal to 0 0.7. So this is a crisp set so that is the reason why we did not put a tilde sign and this is the final answer for part 1. So we just solved this part. So let's see another example. So let me just erase this out first. Okay, so for the second question, we need to find out the lambda cut set for B of 0 0.2. So we already have the fuzzy set B and we just need to find out the lambda cut set for 0 0.2. So we have to include all the values that are greater than or equal to 0 0.2. So in this case, all of these values are greater than or equal to 0 0.2. So we can directly get a final answer. So let me just rub out this tilde sign and this will make it a lambda cut set. We have to compare 0 0.4 which is obviously greater than 0 0.2 so x1 is included in this set again 0 0.5 is greater so x2 then x3 x4 and x5 so this was a pretty straightforward answer because we did not have to calculate or any or perform any fuzzy set operation before they are directly given as the fuzzy set itself with the 0 0.2 as lambda cut value 
or lambda value so since it is 0.2 and all of these values are greater than 0.2 they are all included in this new lambda cut set with the lambda value of 0.2 so now we are done with the question number 2 or sub question 2 so let's see the question 3 so here we have to first calculate a union b and then calculate the lambda cut set so let's first calculate the union part now if you know fuzzy set operations and if you have seen the previous video tutorials you must be knowing the union is max of mu a of x comma mu b of x so we just have to compare the numerators and take the maximum out of, out of the two and we have to make sure that the denominator is same for the comparisons so you cannot compare 0.2 of a with 0.5 because the numerator denominators do not match so you can only compare these two values similarly you can only compare numerators where the denominators are same so after making that comparison let's start with the comparison so 0 0.2 and 0 0.4 you know 0 0.4 is greater so 0 0.4 upon x1 plus again here 0 0.5 is greater so 0 0.5 upon x2 plus comparing 0 0.6 and 0 0.4 we know 0 0.6 is greater upon x3 plus here 0 0.8 is greater and lastly we know 0 0.9 is greater than 0 0.1 so this was the union operation between the two fuzzy sets that are given but in order to calculate the lambda cut set of the union of these two fuzzy sets we need to check all the numerators and compare them with 0 0.6 and only those values that are greater than 0 0.6 will be included in the lambda cut set so the final answer that is a union b of 0 0.6 will only have x3, x4 and x5 because x1 and x2 are less than 0 0.6 so x3, x4 and x5 so this is our final answer so now we are done with the third sub question so let's see the fourth sub question as well so in this case we have to perform an intersection operation between the two fuzzy sets and the intersection operation is given by minimum of mu a of x comma mu b of x so we have to compare numerators of both these values with the same denominators and we have to take only the minimum value so it is just opposite to the union one so let's calculate those values first so 0 0.2 and 0 0.4 we know 0 0.2 is greater or smaller sorry x1 plus again comparing 0 0.3 and 0 0.5 we know 0 0.3 is smaller so i'll write 0 0.3 on x2 and always remember you can only compare those two values whose denominators are equal so you cannot compare 0 0.3 with 0 0.6 you can only compare 0 0.3 with 0 0.5 and so on and so forth so let's move ahead comparing 0 0.4 with 0 0.6 we know 0 0.4 is smaller again 0 0.7 and 0 0.8 so 0 0.7 is smaller and lastly we know 0 0.1 is smaller than 0 0.9 so now we've calculated the intersection of the two fuzzy sets but to calculate the lambda cut set of this intersection we have to compare each of these numerators with 0 0.5 and only include those whose value is greater than 0 0.5 so as you can see only 0 0.7 is greater than or equal to 0 0.5 so only this x4 satisfies this condition so a intersection b 0 0.5 that is the lambda cut set for this operation will only have x4 so again this is our final answer so now we are done with the fourth one so now let's quickly solve the fifth one as well so in the fifth one we have to take a union operation between fuzzy set a and its complement so we'll first have to calculate the complement so let me just erase out this entire general formula and i hope you have written it down because you might need it when you actually go ahead and solve your numericals in your exams so i'll first calculate a complement and you know a complement is 1 minus the a value so 1 minus 0 0.2 would give us 0 0.8 upon x1 plus 1 minus 0 0.3 is 0 0.7 upon x2 plus 1 minus 0 0.4 is 0 0.6 upon x3 0 0.3 upon x4 and 0 0.9 upon x5 so this was a complement and in our question number five we just have to take a union operation so we have to compare a complement and a and we have to take the greater of the two so this would be given by max of mu a of x comma mu a complement of x so let me just calculate it quickly since you already know how to calculate the union you can go ahead and calculate as well okay so now we have to calculate the lambda cut set which is 0 0.7 so the lambda value is 0 0.7 so a union a complement of 0 0.7 will include x1 x2 and x4 and x5 so only x3 is not included because it is less than 0 0.7 so x1 x2 x4 and x5 are all included in this script set so we're done with question number five 
Now question number 6 is a similar type wherein we have to calculate the intersection between fuzzy set B and its complement. So I think you can do this and what I'll do is you can quickly calculate the answer and put it in the comment section so that even you'll get a good practice about it. And let me just solve the question number 7. So in question number 7 what we have to do is we have to first take an intersection of both these values. So let me just write it down. Question number 7 is given as A intersection B the whole complement and we have to find out the lambda cut set with the lambda value of 0.6. So what we can do is we can first calculate A intersection B. So A intersection B is given by minimum of mu A of X comma mu B of X. So calculating that we just have to compare these two and take the minimum out of the two. So let me just calculate it quickly 0.2 upon X1 plus 0.3 upon X2 plus 0. 4 upon x3 plus 0 0.7 upon x4 plus 0 0.1 upon x5. So this was just the intersection. Now in order to take the complement of the whole, we just have to subtract all these values from 1. So this was A intersection B and now taking a complement of this, so we just have to subtract it from 1. So this would give us 0.8 upon x1 plus 0 0.7 upon x2 plus 0 0.8 6 upon x3 plus 0 0.3 upon x4 plus 0 0.9 upon x5. So I just subtracted each of these values from 1 and I wrote the answers in the numerator. And now we have to calculate the lambda cut set with the lambda value of 0 0.6. So A intersection B the whole complement with lambda cut of 0 0.6 will have x1, x2, x3 and x5 because all of these values are greater than or equal to 6 that is 0 0.6 and only x4 is less than 0 0.6 so x1, x2, x3 and x5 so this is the final answer for question number 7 so again question number 8 I'm leaving up to you guys so that you can get a good practice and you can try out different variations of these fuzzy sets so that's it for this lambda cuts concept on fuzzy sets if you like this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you have any queries or comments you can always put them in the comment section and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel peace